Rich, in your careers, you mentioned that you have interviewed Claude, and I know that you also have interviewed uh, Gary, you interviewed Charlene Jensen, all these great names. Uh, my question is for you, how did you reach to them? And what do you think was the best interview you have you done with them? Um, the, the first part's easy. Uh, the first part is I was not worried about running into resistance. Um, Gary says it all the time, like there's no, there's no gatekeepers anymore. You can reach out however you want to that person, multiple different ways via social media or email or whatever it may be. And I just wanted everyone I've ever interviewed, I just ask. Um, I ask them directly. And once in a while, they'll put me in touch with uh, an assistant or someone else. But um, there's just no fear. Uh, you know how everyone always says the worst thing that could happen is someone says no. Uh, you know, I really didn't understand that concept because I'd, I don't like to ask for things. Uh, but when it came to this, I'm so passionate about it that I was like, okay, cool. If you say no, I'm moving right on. Like there's endless amount of people who I believe have value to bring to the world and that I think would be good candidates to be on the show. So I just asked and, and it's so funny. People think it's just like, oh, this like, who are you connected to? And that, I'm like, look, if you are putting out a lot of content and you reach out to some of these people and they get behind it, then it makes it easier. You know, if you have a, and if you're emailing, if you have a good compelling subject, mm -hmm. you know, subject line, not the body, but subject line, that's what's more important because they are more likely to open it. So, so that's what I would say is I just had no fear. I don't believe there's gatekeepers and I just go straight to the source. Um, when it comes to- Who do you choose your best interview? <laughs> I mean, it's so difficult. Um, and I'm going to give you a crappy answer, but there's pieces from every interview mm -hmm. that I'm just like, wow, you know, uh, that, that just really, really kind of help me. But more importantly, I know it's going to help my audience, entrepreneurs and veterans and service members. So, uh, but I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of easy to say that uh, the time with Gary was very short, but it felt like five hours, you know, and uh the things that he kind of mentioned to me uh, were, were I, honestly, this, this is the only way I could put it. I have a clip of it and he just starts laughing because I'm like, what did you just say? He unwrapped <laughs> something in like two seconds. Yeah. And to me, that was an amazing moment because I just don't know anyone who has that level of emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Claude and I are very close for a lot of reasons, but we've also had an ongoing relationship for a while. But for someone who doesn't know you, to be able to tell you, this is your flaw, if you fix this, your life's gonna change. In, 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 in that short of time, I, I, I really, really couldn't believe it. Um, and it's all practice, aha moments, that moment. Yeah. Like, wow, but don't yeah. your mind to the possibilities completely blew me away and then and actually i just posted this one recently an interview with dory clark where she talks about learning as a form of procrastination because we as entrepreneurs are really really interested in all the knowledge there is to be had whether it's conferences and events and your fear of missing out but you know what that also takes you away that makes you spend and it takes you away from doing all the things that you need to be doing um, but you just want to be in the scene and learning so much but you know what there's just not a ton of time. And, and you and I were kind of talking about YouTube offline, but like, there's a lot to learn, but I, you know, if you just kind of dedicate yourself to one thing and become good at it, then, then it's okay. But the more you try and do that, the more you're actually taking away from everything you're really trying to accomplish. So learning is a form of procrastination. I totally agree with you, Rich. And thank you for those great tips on how to approach people. And for the audience listening or watching, if you have any other tips in terms of how to reach all these great CEOs or C-level executives, please, I would like to hear from you. Put it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Rich.